Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom, and I want to give you 10 easy ways to keep a journal. Hopefully, I don't have to tell you the value of keeping a journal because we all know how great it is to look back over your life and see the things you conquered, the growth that you've experienced. It's a great record to leave for your posterity, and it's therapeutic. Experts have told us for years how healthy it is to keep a journal, and that doesn't mean every single day you write in your diary. There are so many other ways to do it in addition to that. One of the greatest ways to keep a record of your life and those around you is to keep a family website. Have you ever thought about making a website for your family? And today, you know, everyone's so far flung. How fun to have something where everyone can contribute their little thing about their little Jimmy was in a play or whatever happened. A family website's a great idea. Now this is something I've done all my life and I recommend it. Get a little spiral notepad and jot in there the things that occur to you during the day. Something funny one of the kids said, an idea you had, a solution to a problem that you hit upon, and then later, if you want, you can type them up or just save them in a spiral notepad. But I did this when my kids were just learning to talk. It became a priceless record of all the funny things they said and the inspiring, adorable things and the great questions they asked. And it's so fun to read it because you think you'll remember all those stories, but you won't. So just keep this in, in where you have a purse or your jacket in your car and just keep a, a spiral notepad. Now, a cell phone is a great way to keep records. Um, you can jot down everything that you want to someone or to yourself and keep a record of your thoughts and use it to make movies or a movie camera but make movies of everybody in your family you could even every month if you want say to your kids okay what'd you learn this month what happened this month it makes kids think wait a minute what did happen and it's so fun to review it years and years later and see what things mattered to them and what things they've forgotten about that were really pretty cool. So use technology to help you keep records. Another thing I like is to make a time capsule. Now this is just a picture of one of our kids. I would put that in a time capsule. Uh, there are so many neat things that well, we may not want to save them in our bedroom or right out in the open because time marches on, right? You can't keep every little knickknack but you can make a time capsule box and then go and look at it again one day. Um, Christmas newsletters are a wonderful way to keep a journal. And just even though it might be once a year, it's a record of the things that your family did. And you could even compile them in a binder at some point along with a, a picture from that year. That would be a fun thing to do. I like books like this. This is the complete book of questions, but there are so many of these. And you can buy these books and you could fill it out for your family and it would say you know if you could grant any three wishes to one person to whom would you grant them well there's a twist on the usual question of what three three wishes would you like but you go through here and it, gi it gives you chances to think and to express your personality and your opinions and another great thing that that this applies to is interview the elderly members of your family. Ask them, what was your favorite thing to do when you were little? What inventions have you seen? What did a house or a car cost when you were a little kid? All kinds of things that help them reminisce. When did you fall in love? What was a typical thing to do when you went out on a date when you were younger? Ask them all those wonderful questions that help their past come alive for you and your kids. And that kind of reminds me of this too. Old recipes are wonderful to have, especially if they're in the handwriting of your grandma or your great grandma or your grandpa or your uncle, whoever. But try to collect actual handwriting samples from these older relatives. Now this is a fun thing. We've all got stuff like this, right? We have family photos we haven't organized into scrapbooks like we should. <laughs> and so go through them, even if you just do 20 at a time. Don't, don't get over ambitious or you'll get discouraged. Just grab a little handful, write who it was, and a rough date as best you can come up with a date on the back. And then here's a fun thing to do. Put them on a paper and let your child come up with a caption, a funny caption for each of those photos. Kind of helps them come alive and it's a fun way to involve everybody. Now this I have here to remind us we live in such a day of only texts and only phone calls and snaps and, and little screenshots and little snippets of life. 
Hardly anybody writes letters anymore, and they're wonderful treasures, all the more valuable because nobody does it. But take the time to get some stationery or cards and envelopes and write letters to people you care about and let them know. Just express on paper something they can tangibly hold and save forever. Let them know how you feel about them. And then, this is on here to remind me to tell you, when you email somebody, and maybe it's a relative or a friend, and you, it's a real newsy email about everything that's going on, print a quick copy and save it in a binder. Too many of the electronic things that we think we have saved vanish. Someone deletes them, the hard drive crashes, you get a new computer, and everything's gone. All that stuff you thought you saved. So just print a hard copy out. It's a smart thing to do. Those are some easy ways to journal. I'm Joni Hilton. Check through here, scroll through, and look at the hundreds of videos that are on my channel. Be sure to subscribe, tell your friends too, and visit my website, JoniHilton.com. See you next time.